It's in keeping with the trusty adage, starve a cold, disgust a fever. Mindful of your thoughts? I will not betray the Republic. Hey, Your Worship, I'm only trying to help. Scruffy looking nerf herder! I'm not afraid. You must unlearn what you have learned. You know, Miss Williams, growing up in the rural part of Georgia, I've been around compost all my life. <laughs> I've seen it loaded onto wagons and tilled and hoed and spread across fields far and wide. But until today, I must say, I've never seen it tied up and gift wrapped in quite so neat and tidy and pretty a packet. <laughs> Congratulations. You're a very clever girl. But it's still compost. <laughs> And now, if you'll excuse me, I need you to dig your way out. So, Star Wars Theory did a video yesterday about Deadpool and Wolverine and basically Kevin Feige and how they're making Kathleen Kennedy look bad. Um, Feige went back to the drawing board after the Marvels, the Eternals, and God knows what else that they were making uh, at Marvel that wasn't working. Feige went back to the old formula of giving the fans what they want. And Deadpool and Wolverine are probably going to make a billion dollars this week. And the last movie that Kathleen Kennedy made lost $300 million, we think. Now... What happened with this? Well, story was, Iger basically told Feige, you get this ship back straightened out, you get it back to what it's supposed to be, or you're fired. And he challenged Feige to do better, and Feige accepted the challenge, and now we've got a soon-to-be billion-dollar rated R movie made by uh, a white guy who knows what he's fucking doing, okay? Kathleen Kennedy, on the other hand, her offerings are watered down, neutered Indiana Jones, and now the failed trash light. And it doesn't look good. He's making her look bad, but it's her fault too, all right? If you don't put the time into it, if you don't, give your franchise the loving care it needs. If you don't listen to the fans and what they want, you're going to end up looking like Kathleen Kennedy uh, with her, you know, dedication to the bullshit of diversity. Meanwhile, the Avengers is coming back. Uh, you know, the, I think the greatest thing that Feige could have done is bring back Robert Downey Jr. as Dr. Doom. Now look, the only reason why I even know who Dr. Doom is is because I read the news. I don't care about Marvel. I do admire... Um, I do admire... Uh, Kevin Feige for seeing the problems as being the woke shit and getting rid of them. And, getting, and doing better. Uh, the fact that you can't make Deadpool woke. It doesn't work. And he knew that. 
and he threw in Wolverine with uh, with it, and you know Hugh Jackman. What what a, what a team! You know this was, you know I'm tempted to go see it even though I have no interest, just to say yeah I saw Deadpool and Wolverine. Um, it, it's it's interesting to me that it's the white guy who decides I'm going to do what the boss wants and I'm going to make the movie that's going to make money, all right? That's going to tell a story and make money. And the woman in the, in the thing isn't capable of it. it. She's not capable of it at all. And they're making money heads over fist with Marvel again. And, you know, we get the Acolyte? Really? But this is what happens when you aren't interested in hiring talent. Now, the guys that are doing Skeleton Crew are professional filmmakers. All right, these guys, these guys have been in the business. Uh, they're white dudes, and they know what they're doing. Okay, that's what you need. You need someone that knows what they're doing. And no, I'm not saying a woman can't run a major studio. I am saying it's a woman that has to understand the fans and she has to be reminded, if she has to be reminded, that it's not about her at every turn. It's about the franchises the studio is known for. And the moment Kathleen Kennedy was given free reign over Lucasfilm, she turned it into a dumpster fire. Um, you know, just, again, we've talked about her incompetence in her, in her decision-making, all right? But it's, it's, all of it has been bad. And it's been bad because um, she doesn't know what she's doing. What an odd combination of odors. Mm. Smells like a fish died and all the other fish sent flowers. Dad, yeah, when are you going to stop blighting the environment with this atrocity? Oh, my God, can't you see that it wants to die? Let it go. <laughs> well, it's one of those things when you're seeing uh, such a contrast between the studios at, at Disney. And Pixar, or Pixar has done the same thing. They've turned it around. Um, the, the fact of the matter is Kathleen Kennedy's still being at Lucasfilm and being allowed to call herself the president of Lucasfilm, even if it's just allegedly the president of Lucasfilm, hurts the franchises because people don't trust it, all right? The fact that Disney allowed her to get away with things, it, it appears, that Kevin Feige never would have gotten away with, that anybody, anybody else wouldn't have gotten away with because of her contract. Um, it's, it's time really watching Marvel soar again, uh, on the wings of Deadpool and Wolverine and watching Pixar soar again on the, Incre uh, Inside Out 2, um, watching all that and then comparing it to what happened with the Acolyte, uh, is heartbreaking. I am not a fan of Marvel, I think, like, like I said, I agree with Martin Scorsese, is not cinematic. It's just cotton candy. Um, you know, Pixar is is a, a much more interesting studio to me because they've had some great, uh, great moments. All right, great, great movies. Uh, Finding Nemo, um, Toy Story, etc. Lucasfilm still has my heart. And it has to be devastating for Kennedy, even if she, if she's even paying attention, to see Kevin Feige make her look stupid. Because he gave the the fans what they want. The fans wanted Deadpool and Wolverine, and they got it, and they got it the best they could do it. Okay, that's the difference between you know watching uh, watching these guys. Um, at Lucasfilm 
try to excuse the acolyte. Meanwhile, they're getting their asses kicked. Now, what kind of competition does this... Uh, I would say there is competition between the studios at, at Disney, too. Um, what kind of competition does it give Mando and Grogu? Well, there are a lot of movies coming out uh, in, in May of 2026. Mando and Grogu, Grogu is one of them. And um, I would say that John Favreau knows what he's doing. Uh, he he's the one that basically built Marvel through Iron Man, and to me, this is where it has to start. But Kennedy has got to go. She got her failure shoved in her face with the acolyte, and then look at look what Kevin Feige's been able to do with. Uh, Deadpool and Wolverine, okay? Kennedy has got to go, okay? She just is the, a, load, a way around Lucasfilm's neck and keeping her around, keeping her um, supporters there just hurts any effort they're, they're trying to put in to fixing what was broken, okay? All right, and that's... That's where I, I, I stand right now with all of this. It's horrifying to see, in my opinion. But she's also getting her nose shoved in the shit that she created like a dog that poops on the floor just because he can. Okay, that's a mistake. Here's, here it is. You're going to rub your nose in it. You like that? And it's Kevin Feige doing it. If anything, Deadpool and Wolverine just show just how bad uh, Lucasfilm is, is doing right now. All right. So congrats to Ke Kevin Feige, Ryan Reynolds, Hugh Jackman, and Kathy, be a woman, announce your resignation, go away, and let John Favreau fix what you broke. This is Steph, signing out. I'll see you around the galaxy.